Big story this morning, winter storm slamming parts of New Mexico. Got a live look from Raton here where a blizzard warning remains in effect. You can see near whiteout conditions at the airport, a strong wind. Boy, it is just whipping through this area. Those conditions also closed I-25 at Raton Pass and Highway 64 is closed from Raton to Clayton right now. Santa Fe also got hit with a lot of snow from this storm. This is what it looked like at the plaza just before 8 o'clock this morning. You can see heavy snow falling and the entire road around the plaza was covered in white. And this is what it looked like this morning in T. Harris here. Our crew saw many drivers passing through this area. That snow piling up in front of the entrance to the gas station. We'll check up on road conditions across the state in just a minute. First, we want to get right to meteorologist Byron Morton. So Byron, uh, what's going on with this winter storm? That's a big one. And you know, of course, we look live here at Albuquerque and we've got the clouds hugging the mountains right now. Snow showers for the foothills continue. Only a dusting of snowfall reported at the Sunport in Albuquerque. We woke up to a lot of that in the heart of the metro. Just a light coating of snow creating some difficult travel across parts of the metro. And of course, more than that across the foothills of Albuquerque and well into the East Mountains. They saw a few inches of snowfall. 29 in Albuquerque, the current temperature. But look at that wind gusting to 29. That makes it feel like like 17 degrees in Albuquerque right now. Scanning the skies with KOT7 with a radar. We don't have any snow in the heart of Albuquerque, but still some snow showers for the foothills into the Four Hills area and also the Sandia and Manzano Mountains. Seeing those snow showers now begin to press south and east and some lingering snow showers across the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. But the heart of the storm is off to the east. Look at all that snow from Raton through Mosquero into Tucumcari, Fort Sumner, Santa Rosa into Clovis right now in east and northeast New Mexico. Those blizzard Warnings continue for Raton into Clayton, also into Tucumcari and Clovis with those very strong winds. Winter weather advisory, Santa Rosa and the Sandia Manzano Mountains and Las Vegas continue. Wind advisories, wind warnings for the state where you see the blue shading and that turquoise shading is that wind warning for Carlsbad. Winds there could gust to 60 miles per hour. Here are the current wind speeds. Look at that sustained wind, 43 in Raton with that snow that's coming down, gusting to 58 miles per hour, 63 mile per hour wind gust in Clayton right now and visibility reported at 10 in Raton, but I think it's a lot lower than that with the snow and look at Clayton and Tucumcari zero visibility in that blowing snow right now. Brutal cold wind chills out there as well. Two below is what it feels like in Raton. One in Clayton right now. Want to track the road conditions as we go through the afternoon and notice the worst road conditions hanging over the northeastern part of the state with those snowy roads and the blowing snow in the blue there. I do think things will improve as we get deeper into the evening. And of course, that blizzard warning expires at 11 o'clock tonight. We do have another winter storm on the way and the coldest air so far this season. More on that, but first, Arlene and Todd. Byron, thank you. Our news crew also out this morning following these conditions. In a very tough spot. Alyssa Munoz joins us now from Raton, where that blizzard warning remains in effect. Hey, Alyssa. <laughs> Hey guys, yeah, last night there was no snow coming down, but first thing this morning you came out and it looked just like this. I mean, there's snow blowing everywhere. The, the winds are really strong. Even a lot of people we spoke to say that, you know, they're extending their stay because they can't see anything. Just look at all the snow piling up on the cars. And even at the interstate right behind me, we haven't seen too many cars. But the New Mexico State Police did shut down US 64 heading from Raton to Clayton, like Todd said, and US 56 from Springer to Clayton as well because of these blizzard conditions and low visibility on the roads. They're asking people to stay home and to stay off the roads for sure. And we also even seen just here earlier that there was people trying to dig their cars out of the snow and why well, I should say they were attempting to do it. But it's honestly really hard. Everybody's just staying inside because of these brutal conditions. But I'm going to send it back to you guys reporting in Raton. Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. Well, the wind is brutal up there. All right, Alyssa, appreciate you.